Hello everyone, Inventor Sam19 here, and today I have a very interesting video for you. Um, I will be showing you a tutorial on how to increase the flame size of any dollar store barbecue lighter. Uh, this is a very easy um, tutorial which can be done with very few um, tools. What you will need for this is basically a barbecue lighter from any dollar store will work. Um, plastic is fine. Um, you will need a corresponding screwdriver, preferably a small one. In this case, I have to use a small Phillips screwdriver. And you may need a pair of um, needle nose pliers. These are optional, but they make the job a lot easier. So first, I'll, I'll explain to you how the barbecue lighter works. So it's basically, has a, it'll have a gas chamber and the um, butt end of it which when you apply pressure to the trigger and push the safety forward if it has one the gas will be released through a clear tube down here and through the end of the barrel and then upon the final squeeze of the trigger it'll ignite a spark um, using a device located around here in the lighter which will ignite the flame at the very end of the barbecue lighter producing a flame now the flame on most barbecue lighters can be adjusted using this little thing around here which can be pushed um, counterclockwise for more gas or clockwise for less gas. So the issue that is preventing us from having a large flame is that you cannot spin that fully um, because it blocks it off. So in this video I will show you how to adjust that more and thus producing a bigger flame. So the first step is to cut with an X-Acto knife along the sticker so it can be opened and take your needle nose pliers and simply pull off the piece on the end if it has one. So there you go, as you can see I have pulled this piece off just like that and then you will locate these screws to be loosened using your screwdriver. So mine, if I flip it over, are on this side here. Mine has two, so I will loosen them using my screwdriver. One, and two. And so the next step you must be very careful with, especially if you have not opened a lighter before and you do not know how the insides work. So place it normally screw side down and slowly lift off the top half of the lighter preventing anything from coming loose to make it easier to put back together uh, and reassemble before using. So very carefully take off the top half without disturbing most of the pieces. As you can see it's quite a difficult task. Okay, so there you have it. I will show you a close-up now of what the inside of a lighter looks like. Um, so, as you can see, there's the barrel. Uh, there's that gas and electrical tube I was telling you earlier. There's the trigger. There is the sparking device, which is used to create the spark. That is the gas chamber, and the most important part I will zoom on it for you, is that right there. Now that is where your gas adjustment nozzle is and in order to create a larger flame what you have to do is take the gas piece out without disturbing any of this because like a spring once it comes out it's very hard to put back, put back in. So um, we're going to have to disconnect this and so depending on the model of your lighter uh, it could be very difficult to disconnect it without moving any other pieces. So I'll show you the specific part of my lighter. I'll set my tripod down. Okay. So there we have the interior of my lighter. Now, this piece here is what pulls the gas nozzle forward and releasing the gas. Connects to the trigger. So in order to take out our gas tank, we have to remove this very carefully. I'm going to use my little screwdriver and take him out and put him 
over there in the same orientation so we remember where it goes back. Now, the next step is simply to get your gas tank out by again let, uh, using a lever of some sort to pry it open and then pull it out. So now there's our basic gas tank and there is the nozzle adjuster that went on just like that. Okay, so let me focus here. Yeah, right about there. So what will happen on your lighter, when you push it this way, it will open farther. So what you're going to do is push it as far as you can this way, listen very closely, until you hear gas coming out, which is right there. So now what we're going to do is take it back off. As you can see, it's in the opposite position. We're going to take it off. Just a sec. There's notches normally on the valve, and we're going to put it straight up and down. So what we've done now is loosened it over the manufacturer's recommended, um, so it can be expended more gas. So it can expend more gas, sorry. So now what we're going to do is very carefully put it back into the tube. making sure that it is fully inserted into the tube or else you may have a gas leak. Oh, so a piece just fell off, but that's okay. I will now reconnect the tube and put the pieces back together and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I um, put back all the pieces. As you can see, it's very finicky in there. So I'm just going to leave that alone. And then, very carefully put your lid back on, like this. And make sure you hear a good snap indicating that all the pieces have been set back in their original position. And then start by putting the lid cap back on. And then screwing in your two screws. For this model anyway, some might be different. Make sure before you put it back together, I forgot to say, that the gas pipe is securely connected to the chamber of gas gases because if it does happen to leak, as you can imagine, that would be pretty bad. So now I'm going to turn the lights down and I'll give you a basic test. Here is the lighter test after we have made the modification. Might be kind of hard to see. Oh, there you go. So it's quite a bit big flame. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching.